Hey guys, welcome back to another custom campaign. This time we're going to be playing a prequel to the previous one. This one is Alexander in Bactria. King Darius is dead, but Alexander's conquest of Persia is not complete. The Persian general Bessus, murderer of the Persian king, incites rebellion in the eastern satrapies of Bactria and Sogdia. Alexander marches onward into these harsh lands that would one day be called the Graveyard of Empires. Bactria, 330 BC. Alexander had chased the Persian king Darius into the northeastern satrapies, but his final conquest, the capture of the king of kings, would be unexpectedly stolen from him. A Persian general named Bessus treacherously murdered Darius and took the remnants of the Persian army deeper into their northeastern frontiers, aligning himself with the local Sogdians. The angry Alexander pursued the Persian assassin until a Sogdian warlord called Spidamines sent a message that he had betrayed Bessus and imprisoned the assassin. Spidamines would turn over Bessus if Alexander sent his men to take him. It seemed that one betrayal had been matched by another, but even more treachery would follow, this time much closer to Alexander's own camp. Scheming assassins had attempted to poison Alexander. The Macedonian king condemned his general Philotas for the conspiracy and put him to death. Alexander then sent his companion Cleander west to kill Philotas' father, Parmenion. With his rear secured, Alexander then marched deeper into hostile Bactria to take Bessus. Objectives Send Cleander to kill Parmenion for his treachery. Uh, send Ptolemy's scouts to the flag area to confirm that Bessus is held prisoner by Spidamines. The scouts must remain there until Alexander reaches Bessus to ensure that Bessus is not moved. Once Bessus's location is confirmed, bring Alexander to Bessus the general at Spidamines' camp across the uh, Oxus River. And Alexander must survive. Bonus objectives. Yes, we're going to do the bonus ones. Destroy the Branchidae. Treacherous Ionian Greeks who willingly accompanied King Xerxes back to Persia a century ago. Show Alexander's dominance by destroying the Sogdian government center. Okay, so going to do both of those. Now let's just recap that. So get the. Uh, send Cleander to kill Carmenion. Send the scouts to a flag area, keep him there. And bring Alexander to the general, and he must survive. Uh, destroy the and then optionally destroy these guys and the government center. The hints. Macedonian phalanxes have additional pierce armor. They will still lose to horse archers, but can last just long enough to draw arrow fire away from Alexander's flanking cavalry. Use the speed of cavalry and the range of bowmen to combat horse archers. It may even be wise to attempt to go around enemy horse archers and attack them from the rear with cavalry rather than pursuing them deeper into enemy territory. If the Brancadae are destroyed, their buildings will help Alexander replenish his losses. Alexander's supply lines are controlled by Parmenion and are therefore threatened. Locating some Sogdian villagers who can help forage for resources should be a priority. Beware narrow ravines, the Sogdians are known to use such terrain features for deadly ambushes. It is not necessary to destroy the Sogdian encampment, but doing so may expose whatever ambushes the Sogdians have planned. Spidamines has set horse searchers ahead to join Alexander. They wait at various locations in the valley. History after being defeated by Alexander at Guagamela, King Darius eluded the pursuing Macedonians. Heading toward Bactria on the eastern frontiers of his empire, however, the Persian king was betrayed by his general Bessus and murdered. Alexander found Darius's discarded body and vowed to punish Bessus for the regicide. Some historians believe that Alexander's determination to punish Bessus for the crime of killing a king reflected his own fears of betrayal. By making an example of Bessus, Alexander would demonstrate the severity of retribution for any attempts on his own life. Artist difficulty and play. Alright, so let's see what we have here. Oh, there's uh Cleander going to the to the side, I guess. Uh, let's see, objectives. Destroy Parmenion, create one scout in the marked area. Oh, there goes Parmenion. Good, good job, Cleander. Good job. <laughs> okay. Uh, so I guess this is a cute little cutscene where the horses ride off, and it's probably it's probably one unit hidden right there. I'll, I'll check that at the end. So we have scouts, and we need to get them here to Bessus, who is an ally, and likely to uh, probably ambush us. Oh, some horse archers there. All those cavalry there. 
All right, let's see what do we got there. Uh, Slugdians, those are enemies. All right, so what do we got? We have some heavy cavalry. Alexander has to survive, but unfortunately looks exactly like the heavy cavalry. Let's we'll just do a good one, two, and three for these units. Right, there's some horse archers there. Oh, nope, nope. I don't want this to get through the tank. I don't want those guys to do it. Yeah, okay, this is tough to micro. There you go. The cavalry involved. <laughs> Let's just run it. Oh, yeah, there's more of them on the hills. And there we go. Okay, so that could have probably gone a lot better, but it almost worked. More horse archers all over the hills. Oh, whoa! Okay, that did not look like it was passable, but it is. Some more stuff there. Oh, we get we have buildings. Um. Okay, what do we? Oh, elephants. They might be useful. I should have camels. Camels would be great here. Okay, at least we can kill them. More archers on the Take the archers, please. Oh, let's get some some phallic stabs on the horse guys. Uh, can we run down the bowmen with scouts? Not quite. Okay, well, we still have Alexander as a cavalry unit. That's gonna have to do. Wait, what is, uh... They're not attacking us, so maybe we can just build stuff at their buildings. Okay. Oh, no. Misclick. Okay, we've lost all of our archers, but the phalanx are still alive. And these are just hoplites, but they have some good upgrades. Um, yeah, I guess we'll fight them. I don't see another way to go. And Alexander, I guess, is our scout now. If he can get unstuck. Let's try to fight on the hill. It's almost on the hill. Oh, now they're attacking our buildings. Let's not have that. Uh, save the market. Oh, now we don't even have the houses to replace units anymore. So... Well, they're now defeated. It's a good bonus objective finished. Uh, let's find that Sogdian government center. We'll just do, oh yes, yes, more guys. That is good. Now now we can't train more units. Uh, we need to upgrade to get phalanx anyway. Would have liked maybe a scout before I found those units, but okay, that's all we have. Let's just do some exploring with Alexander. See if there's any fun traps for him to die in. All right, there was maybe a couple more red soldiers over here to kill. Oh yeah, horse archers, perfect, perfect. All right. Unless they all followed us. Looks like they all probably followed us. There's some shallows down there. So before we before we cross the river, let's explore what else we have up here. Send Alexander that way. Send you guys this way. There's okay, some cavalry there. I want to fight them with the phalanxes. Preferably on the hill and not get that thing involved. 
Okay, that went well, I think. Better than our previous fights anyway. Let's see what's up here. It's probably a cliff over here. Yeah. Oh, more archers. Let's just ignore them, hopefully. Oh, okay. Uh Get out of the way. Can he run away from cavalry? I, I hope so. Oh, yes, villagers. Okay, now let's just see. Can we be... Very... Uh, not noticed up here. Let's see, can we do upgrades? Hungry Lasting Farms. Might be Alamos, useful. Alamos. Let's see if we can just hunt the... Can I use Alexander to push the gazelle in? Yes. Oh, yes, more horse archers. Okay, let's just put everyone on the gazelle. Get as much food from them as we can. Okay, now we have some villages. What can the villages make? Towers, houses, farms, and walls. So good thing these buildings are alive. So we can make horse archers, uh, a few stable units, can't upgrade the broadswordsmen. I'm thinking the best option for us is just to make more phalanx units. Let's see, what is our tech tree? We have academy units have more pierce armor, cheap uh, siege workshop units are cheaper, cost minus 25%, and more resistant to conversion. Okay, and let's check this out. So we, we would be able to upgrade all the way to Cataphract, Heavy, Horse Archer, and Centurion. But I think we would need to do some upgrade for those. And we missed the final woodcutting upgrade, so we wouldn't have fully upgraded horsemen. And we lack upgrades for our siege weapons. What? Oh, where's the siege workshop? Yeah, we missed the heavy catapult option too. But we do have normal catapults. So do we have all the cavalry? We do have the cavalry upgrades, so armored elephants, cataphracts could be useful. We need to get their upgrades first. Alright, so I think since we have so, min uh, so much infantry, we should probably do the extra, even more pierce armor. Oh, we don't have gold for that. Start taking gold. And we'll, we'll just ignore these guys for now. Let's not go there. Oh, we have two scouts. We can use the scouts for scouting. Let's not waste Alexander's scouting when we can just scout scouts. I wonder where that government center is. Can't see it there. Some more cavalry we can kill with the phalanx. You guys go on to gold now, I guess? Put one of you on the berries. Alright, let's fight these horses. There are phalanx. Uh, no, don't attack the horse archers. Attack the phalanx. There you go. Okay, I think that went well. So this guy, he's really close. So I think I'll probably need scouts up here, which I can probably get to from over here, and then send the rest of the army this way. All right, where is, did I have to keep those scouts? No, I didn't. Uh, I don't wanna go that way yet. Let's send one scout. I don't have the population space to train another. Let's just send one scout back here. That guy will run around the back way. And oh, we can even do tower shield. And we need that for, I think the elephants. Oh, I forgot this stuff in the way. Oh, but they stop chasing. Good. Hopefully, oh, 
I miss maybe I could push those gazelle towards the storage pit, but that would get them really close to the uh, to the other units. Okay, let's bring the scout back and try to actually. I want to scout kind of like right here, see if we can see a government center anywhere. Otherwise, we'll come around this way. Okay, no government center, which is a bunch of units. Oh, there it is. So it's a bonus objective. We have to go for it. And we do have that catapult, so I'm guessing the best thing would probably be... Okay, so the catapult has 10 range. We don't have a siege workshop to upgrade it. What is the range on the towers? 6 plus 2 is 8. Okay, so the catapult should be able to kill the towers. Let's get these guys formed up. Let's do the tower shield. No real upgrades will, will be useful there. Alright. Let's have the catapult start working on that tower, and we'll get ready to defend it with this army if they try to attack. And we'd also do a bit more scouting here. Oh yes, more archers, perfect. Oh, you got stuck. Okay, don't go that far forward. Let's scout. All right, and we'll just slowly work our way forward. I move forward slightly after he killed the tower. That's interesting. I wonder if that's just something to try to help things auto-attack. Oh, no, don't friendly fire, please. So don't friendly fire. Focus on the uh, horse archers. Okay, I think we're winning this. There's a lot of them. We'll probably need to build more phalanx. Okay, let's not lose the catapult, please. Now we're gonna lose the catapult. No. Oh yes, we uh, we saved it. Almost saved it, at least. We'll need something to deal with the horse archers. Hopefully they don't chase us. Maybe some cavalry will be good at dealing with them. We do have actually quite a f we have a good deal of gold right now. Just have to be very careful on how we spend it. So we're going to be dealing with horse archers and cavalry. We don't have any stone, so we can't make slingers to deal with them. Uh, or do we have stone up here? Uh, no, we don't. No stone. Uh, let's start chopping some wood. Somers. I kind of want to make elephants, but I don't think we're going to be fighting elephant units. Let's do an upgrade to heavy cavalry. We'll upgrade also to phalanx. Now we're running out of food. Or maybe the... Maybe going for horse archers might have been a better approach. But we'll just wait for those upgrades to be finished. And now I think we probably should train a few cavalry units and get more food. Those guys cost food too. So I'll probably put more onto the berries. Maybe even make a farm. You have quite a lot of gold if we want to do any more upgrades. But the ranged attack, I think, is the uh, the more pressing issue for us. Meanwhile, let's use the scout and keep doing some scouting with the scout. While these units train themselves. Infantry are nice because they have the pierce armor upgrade, but hey, uh, let's not fight them, please. 
Okay. Hopefully, if we go down that way, we'll, we can find some horse archers, too. Looks like we also could enter from this side, like bring the rest of the army, but there's stuff on that hill I don't want to deal with. Yeah, yeah, there's definitely stuff on the hill I don't want to deal with. Okay, so go going for the government center seems like a good idea. And we'll have a few cavalry units. We'll make a couple more of those guys. And the other question is, do we want metallurgy? It's going to be kind of hard for us to afford. And we're also out of gold now, so I think... No metallurgy right now. There's no extra gold hidden back here, is there? No, there's not. So have a few of you and cavalry. Where am I being attacked? Oh, oh, do not kill Alexander. Do not kill Alexander. Oh, okay. I don't know what happened there. Let's just hope. If Alexander doesn't die when we're not looking at him. Oh wait, the oh the ones I trained from the academy are not selected in the same group as the ones that spawned at the beginning of the scenario. Oh, the ones that spawned at the beginning also didn't get, or up, or one of them didn't get. This guy doesn't have upgrades, but he's selected with one that does. Maybe one of them was a Gaia unit. That's probably it. That I selected, or that I converted when I got the catapult. Alright, so... Have to press hotkeys instead of double-clicking. Guy's hiding himself nice and snugly inside those buildings. Alright, uh, Phalanx has him surrounded. Okay, I think we've killed him. Now just take out the government center. And then we'll see what happens after that dies. Hopefully they get defeated after that, or something. Now there's no trigger system, so I don't think they lose all their units like they might in Age 2. But it will let us kill the guys on the hill from up here, which will be pretty nice, I think. Looks like they're not trading any more units from these buildings. And what we can do at least is kill this tower, so it doesn't harass us anymore. Okay, so while you work on that, let's see if we can kill this catapult. I'm gonna send in just the catapult. Oh, there's a couple catapults. Let's go first for the bowmen. Oh, should have gone first for the catapults. They do not care about friendly fire. It seem. Oh, there's another catapult even. Okay, so want to send the phalanx in first. Just so they can tank fire for us. Dodge. Run, kill them, please. Uh, catapult from across the water. Okay, well, we've killed most of them, at least. And you can run away. Maybe the phalanx can do some flanking action and finish it off. Take you two. So maybe from this stable I want to make axemen. I don't know if they'll be useful at all. Where am I being attacked? Oh, no, no, don't. That's a even, that's a catapult, not even a stone thrower. Great. Uh, run. Okay, we got it. Or, uh, no. Okay, we don't. Got it. <laughs> you two. Hopefully, though, can kill the- Oh, I think that lets us get to the camp, though, with Alexander. So what we can do, we'll take Alexander and the horse archers, we'll run them back 
around, maybe, so they don't need to go down this passage. And then we'll just run them down through here. Sounds like a plan to me. And I'll make a few scouts and just try to run the scouts through. Split up. Is that guy just running, or is he going to chase us? Alright. Let's just run back. And I think with these units, we will try to run back, too. And we use the catapult from the hill to help support them. Okay, and where's the, uh, the stable? We'll make a few scouts. And we'll just try to run the scouts to that hill. Okay, that's the noise of them <laughs> attacking the market. What else do we have over here? A couple of cavalry. Let's just stand on the hill and use the hill bonus. Okay, the catapult killed my phalanxes. Come on, stone thrower, you're better than that. And I think there might be some broad swordsmen down here. Yep, a couple broad swordsmen. We can just run past them. Not even gonna notice us. All right, perfect. So now that my army is dead because of <laughs> my stone thrower, don't know if we're going to have enough troops to push through there. We need a bit more gold than we currently have. And those guys are going to get killed if they try to chop wood from there. Um, We could just train a ton of scouts and axemen and... Oh, and bowmen too. Let's make some bowmen. They might actually be useful. Hopefully scouts down here can do some work. This is just improved bowmen. Let's see if scouts can take them out. Uh, not the worst job in the world. Okay, and I think we can make it up onto that cliff from here. Or, or not. Go that way at least. Let's scout out what else is over here. Maybe, just maybe, we need to want to find a way to those horse archers. Let's just do some running. What, what, why are you going that way? No, chase us this way, please. Don't go after my other scout. Okay, there we go. We got it, and we got some horse archers. Can we just bring him there and have him survive? Oh, wait, 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 why are you? Don't attack, don't attack. No, we have to... What? Hopefully they can't figure out how to get up to the... Oh, rip. Okay, so... We had a few horse archers, but then we lost them. <laughs> we got one. Oh, crap, they, they got him. They got him. Okay, so now we have a few... We'll have to make more scouts with whatever food we have left. And I'll have to hope that this army is enough, because the stone thrower killed the useful soldiers. Actually, can I make, uh... Can I make more? I can make one more. Phalanx. Pretty aware that attack notification just came from. Alexander's at half health. And, um, and these four scouts will be our last scouts. Of one of or actually, no, we can keep getting more food from these farmers. Let's make some more farms. We have a ton of wood. Just need gold somehow. Alright. You guys will all be there. 
Alexander and our force of a few bowmen and a couple horse archers. Hopefully we will encounter that. Ah, hopefully we'll encounter some horse archers that will be on our side. My worry is that as soon as we get Alexander here, then these Persians will turn enemy. And I think we just might be... Oh, we can sneak this guy. But oh, oh, those shallows. I need you to go somewhere useful, shallows. Let's do a bit of scouting. Maybe there'll be some units up here? No. Okay, but I think we've, we've gotten to the determination that if we are super quiet, we can sneak Alexander along the shallows past the cavalry without the cavalry noticing. There's also a chance that maybe there's some more horse archers up here where the catapult's firing at us. No, it just looks like more ambush and not horse archers. Okay, I just lose him. Don't want them chasing us. Clear them out. Okay, you guys will be group one. I'll sneak down here. They just run straight for it, I guess. And don't alert them, don't alert them. Come here, yes. Can we get onto the, uh, okay, you can maybe draw them away. Yeah, do that. Run, come down here, little bowman. Yeah, just like that. Okay. So I think, actually, we can probably take out the bowman. We just need more scouts. Okay, new new plan. Gonna make more scouts, I guess. And Alexander... Don't think he has enough HP to take Vestus by himself. But maybe if we put him on a hill and use this horse archer to help, then we can take him out. But let's just make more scouts. And all of these guys up here can make farms. Chop that tree so we can build more farms there. And if we can get all of these scouts made, then maybe we'll have enough army to kill some of the bowmen so we can get the scouts on the hill. And I'll just wait for those scouts to train. Okay, now we have quite a few scouts. So that's, that'll be six full HP and one that's almost dead. I'm just group them up and get ready to fight the bowmen. We'll come this way and see if we can avoid fighting those ones. Keeping these, keeping this army grouped up is a pain. You guys go for that one, you guys go for that one. Okay, you just go up on that hill. Now the rest of you just try to drive them away. Go for that one, because he's almost dead. Alright, but we're there. Alexander, we got a scout on the hill. Here, Alexander, to the general. Um, we're there. Oh, yes! <laughs> okay, we got him. Alexander was ruthless to Bessus. He ordered the Persians' ears and nose cut off, then ordered him tied to two trees forcibly bent towards each other. When Bessus was tied to both, Alexander ordered the trees released, tearing Bessus's muscles as the trees straightened. The... Uh, the Branchidae, Ionian Greeks infamous for their treachery, were also slaughtered with savagery. Alexander ordered even their sacred groves to be uprooted, leaving nothing but wasteland. The Macedonian generals whispered that Bactria had changed Alexander, but after witnessing the fates of Philotas and Parmenion, none were willing to challenge the young king. Okay, so didn't get to do much with Par Parmenion, he just kind of died to Cleander at the start. Little, little age one cutscene going off into the fog of war. 
at military. More kills than losses, which is which is good. You always want that. 1200 gold, and that we totally wasted all that to our own catapult killing our gold units. Oh man, look at, look at how big red was in that timeline. But anyway, hope you enjoyed that. And I will see you for the second scenario next. Thank you all for watching, and goodbye. Oh, and before I forget, let's look at what happens right at the start of the game. I'll do this in the super zoomed in view. Okay. So look at this little trick on the side of the screen here. We have these cavalry, they go in, and there's a few, there's a hoplite and a couple bowmen, and one goes behind the trees and gets them.